Well, this is Sean Shaw with Dinner and Dialogue. We have in front of the camera Mr. Robert Christopher Riley, a.k.a. Michael Colhane from Dynasty, a.k.a. Papa, Papa Sauce. sauce. AKA Papa <laughs> sauce. That's we don't right. talk about that in a minute. <laughs> yes. but, so, you know, what have you been up to? I know Hit the Floor has been quite a while. Some yeah, people may yeah, you know, recognize been. you from that. Yeah. But you're on the new revamp of Dynasty, yes, playing Michael yes. Colhane. That's right. Uh, how did it all come about? Um, well, you know, just every run of the mill audition, pilot mm -hmm. season, a couple of years ago in LA, and um, they were bringing back the one of the most iconic series in the history of television, especially as far as soaps are concerned. Dynasty mm -hmm. was, I believe, the most watched show in the history of television from 1981 to 1990. Um, they were looking for a, a Michael Culhane, and um, this glorious reboot that is set in Atlanta and films in Atlanta was looking for a, a brother. In, they chose me, so I got yeah. the opportunity to come to Atlanta to work and live, and I got on a plane with a dog, and here I am. Okay, yeah, well, you know, to that point, you know, as you mentioned, this show was a very iconic show uh, back in the 80s, and with uh, Diane Carroll yeah. being, you Rest know, such a icon herself in making history and uh, reprising the role of Dominique Devereaux on several episodes, uh, her setting that legacy. What does that mean to you, being someone of minority on a show like this? Yeah. Uh, well, we do a really good job to be inclusive on this version of Dynasty, and I think given the parameters of, of uh, the times of when the uh, original Dynasty was airing in the 80s, I think they did a pretty good job of uh, trying to include folks as much as they could while still appeasing the uh, what seemed to be at least at that point, incorrectly so, seem to be the paying masses. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, to follow in the footsteps of someone like Diane Carroll, uh, again, may she rest in peace, she passed away this year, and uh, Dominic Devereaux is being uh, reprised by Michael Michelle, a fantastic and gorgeous actress uh, mm -hmm. who I get the chance to play opposite of this season. Um, it means a lot, you know. It's carrying a, a mantle, a passing of a torch, uh, um, and the fact that I'm one of the people that is chosen to do that. I'm not the only um, African-American person on the show, but being one of the main characters in the series regulars and being afforded that opportunity means a lot, and I try to do my best. Yeah, well, good. Good. Now, it's, it's refreshing to see the diversity on the show. It you sure know, especially, is. I'm like, oh, wow, okay, they got some Venezuela. Yeah, Venezuela, yeah, yeah, Venezuela Nigeria, <laughs> Australia, New Zealand, um, you name it. Yeah. And then, of course, me. Yeah. Of course you. Of course you. Uh, what was it like when you received the call? I mean, did, what, did you go through an audition? Did you, yeah, you know, go yep. through all that? Yeah, had an audition and uh, two, three callbacks, or two, or a callback and two, two callbacks and two studio tests, a studio test and a network test. Mm -hmm. It's usually how it goes. Sometimes you have a couple more. Um, but I, I left the, the audition, the studio test, and was driving to drop something off in the mail. From, I think for my mom, I had to pull over on the side of the road and found me because I found out my agent and managers on the phone at the same mm -hmm. time. And usually when that happens, either something really good has happened or you just got fired. Oh. So okay. <laughs> <laughs> thankfully, my career has only been something good. Okay. Well, um, good. But they called and, you know, it's, it's a life changing phone call. It's, a, it's okay. a great job. It's a great project to be a part of. And, um, you know, provided things continue to go, you're, you're going to gain a little place in television history for ever. That's right. This digital footprint lasts forever. Uh, you know, there's a couple of shows that have been revamped, and reboot uh, in yeah. front of live television audiences. You know, oh, yeah. the, the Jefferson All in the Family last year, All in the Family. Now, this just recently, Good Times. Yep. Is yep. there a show that you would like to see done that way? And could you see yourself playing one of the characters? Oh man, I don't know. <laughs> I'm, uh, you know a couple of years ago, if you asked me this question, I just said something different but right now I'm trying to think of what could be rebooted and would work in front of the live well not rebooted just revisited in front yeah. of the live studio audience I mean I'd Fresh Prince and uh, Will Smith and Martin Lawrence are still around they're yeah. doing Bad Boys Zero right now so yeah. we can't use either yeah. of those yeah um, Maybe living single. I, I live in different single. world. No, living single. I just met TC for the first time the other day, ah, and okay. that was pretty damn awesome. Um, uh, maybe living single. Yeah, mm -hmm. we can do living single. 
I might be able to. Um, I might be able to pull off Overton. I'm, I'm not sure. Right. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, how how long have you been in the industry? I know you've had like over thirty some odd television appearances. Yeah, there's a lot of credits. <laughs> a lot of credits. So I'm just kind of looking at IMBD just to kind of see what some of the things that you've done. Um, well, I got my master's degree from Ohio University in 2006. The Ohio. Uh, no, that not the, the Ohio, Ohio State. The, okay. I don't mess with them. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, <laughs> no beef, <laughs> but I'm from Ohio University, a.k.a. Okay. Harvard on the Hocking. Okay, gotcha. Um, uh, go Bobcats. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I got my master's in 2006, and I was on. Uh, I did some regional theater. Then I was on Broadway in 2008. Um, started working in television. Um, I believe that fall with Law and Order: Criminal Intent. Um, mm -hmm. Shout out to Catherine Irby and Vincent D'Onofrio. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, been rocking and rolling ever since. Did some off Broadway. Uh, went out to LA. Did some television, some commercials. Um, Met Liz Gillies, who plays Fallon on Dynasty, on the set of Victorious, which I was on an episode of a children's show for Nickelodeon back in, way back in 2009, um, and uh, went back on Broadway in 2011. Been on television ever since, and films, of course, like The Born Legacy and Perfect Match. And, right. You know. Okay, now that we're in 2020, mm -hmm. um, a new decade. Yes. You know what has been, I would say, your biggest lesson. You would say in 2019, we won't even take the whole decade. We're just gonna say Ooh. 2019. I know I almost scared you. It's like, <laughs> like, uh, 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 been a long decade. Bro. Yeah, right, um, right. 2019. <laughs> uh, and what is your vision for 2020? Uh, my vision for 2020 is is um, really paying attention to uh, family and um, and making the most of of uh, your time with loved ones while they're here. You know, my mom isn't getting any younger and uh, we lost a lot of family members in 2018. Uh, so it's, it's you know, that's, the, that's the big thing. You're paying, paying more attention to that, less attention to, less attention to making money or less attention to, um, you know, not that you don't want to do those things, that's important, but right. just less attention to like fame and, and the whole celebrity aspect of things. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, people could probably tell I don't post as much on social media anymore. I think that's, yeah. and as far as I'm concerned, that's worn out. It's welcome. Um, you know, just being more in touch with the personal aspects of life mm -hmm. uh, and and making the most out of the time that I have with the people that I have. And so, right. yeah, because right. I feel like I probably missed some opportunities. Uh, and even even in 2019, but definitely in the decade preceding up to it, being so driven to do so many different things. Right, right. That it's nice to just relax. Yeah. You know, just have some time with your family. Go down and visit them for Christmas. Go, mm -hmm. go show up for that person's mm -hmm. birthday. Take time off if you can to go to the wedding. Right. You know, be at the funeral, God forbid. Yeah. So on and so forth. So. I, I, uh... I totally understand that piece. Yeah. I just had two funerals in the last three weeks. That's how my it works. Family, so yep, God, uh, God, God bless, man. Yeah, yeah. So. It, it, it comes in droves. Yeah, especially at this, around this age, mm -hmm. is the mm -hmm. passing of the torch and the phasing out of one generation to the other, and, and right. um, you know, you all of a sudden you start taking care of your parents and whatnot. Mm -hmm. uh, so and you know, and, and you know, some of us don't, don't even have parents to take care of. So. That's right. Right. Uh, oh, you once. know, just making the most of it. Family, yeah. You know, yeah. Build, building a family. Okay. Taking care of your family. Gotcha. All that good stuff. Gotcha. And so, what do you um, have in the doc on the docket in twenty twenty as far as projects are concerned? You have any new uh, projects? Well, we've still? got the second half of season three of yeah. Dynasty. Okay. And we should have a season four. Okay. And we're hopefully hope five. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna put that on the vision board back there again. Um, and then I've got another film coming out called Naked Singularity okay. with um, John Boyega, Ed Skrein, Olivia Cook, and Bill Sar Skarsgård. Mm -hmm. um, that's set in New York, a bit of a you know, crime drama caper kind of deal. Okay. Some light moments to it. Not the, you know, not, it's not like kind of like a Ocean's Eleven ish. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that, mm -hmm. that 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 uh, that uh, feeling. Okay. But that comes out 2020. I think spring 2020. Um, 
And otherwise, that's it. Dynasty keeps me pretty busy. Like I said, nine months out of the year, 22 episodes. It is uh, it is a, a pretty substantial schedule. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I don't get to do much of that. But then, there'll, you know, there'll be more music. I do. I, I make music in my spare time. Mm -hmm. I've got a, a little band of, uh, of fellas that we get together and jam um, called the Black Squirrels. And we'll, we'll okay. be putting out some, some music that's not soca this year. Nice. It's like, uh, you know, some, some things in hip hop, some things in uh, American folk music. I play the guitar, I play a little piano, I do electric, uh, uh, digital pr music production as well in okay. terms of like Ableton and stuff like that. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, just a little okay. bit of everything. Right. More smiles or more faces. That's what I planned for 2020. Okay. More smiles on more faces. That's what's up. And you're doing a, quite a great job of that with all the projects that you currently have <laughs> Thank you. Uh, in play and the ones that are coming up, I'm sure it'd be nice, especially with your happy music. Yes. Uh, feel Good Music. Uh, Thank what's you. The, what's the title of the, the EP? That the EP you're... is going to be Feel Good. Feel Good. Because the music yeah. just makes you feel good. That's right. That's <laughs> the, right. So Pepper okay. Sauce EP will drop uh, uh, some point in 2020. Mm -hmm. I've got a bunch of songs that people haven't heard yet. And, um, you know, it's a it's a hobby. It's a hobby that I take seriously. Mm -hmm. um, whatever the music does, it, it does digitally and so on and so forth. You know, my, my it's not like a second career, right? You know, kind of deal where yeah. like I'm a rapper turned actor and I'm mm -hmm. trying to like you know. A lot of times that you, you can't really straddle that. You end, at one ends up taking a back seat. Right. Know, the Ask Method Man. Uh, as Rihanna started acting and doing mm -hmm. ma uh, her makeup line and her clothing line, and she hasn't put out an album in a while. Right. Not because right. she can't, but because you can only focus on so many things and give it what it deserves right. at a time. So, um, you know, I'm not trying to do too much. And like mm -hmm. I said, focus more on, on family, on and, family. Um, yeah. and the stuff that really matters. Because when all the lights go off, that's all you got. That's all you got, baby. That's it. <laughs> that's that's all. it. That's it. Okay. Now you say you wanted family. You say you want to have a big family. You want to have. Well, I mean, uh, I don't know. I still want the biggest family in the world, right. but just you know, some 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 kids that inevitably take care of me when I get old. Yeah. Um, yeah. And and uh, you know, and a, a, a loving wife that likes to do the things that I like to do, and mm -hmm. is also fine not doing anything. Um, so. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, work. Working on it, working, working on, on it. Okay, I hear you, I hear you. Working on it. So how do you like living in Atlanta? I mean. I love yeah. Atlanta. Okay. Uh, I, I love Atlanta. Let me let me okay. say this again. All right. I love Atlanta. Okay, you hear that Keisha Lance bottle? Okay, she yes. Miss Keisha, you heard me, because we was handing out <laughs> turkeys together <laughs> right, right around Thanksgiving. That's right. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, I, I love Atlanta. I love what the city represents. I love mm -hmm. the fact that it is, in my opinion, one of the most um, prosperous and comfortable places for brown people, um, for minorities of all sorts, um, for LGBTQ population. For, it, for, it seems the same way from my you know, infantile perspective or my masculine perspective, it mm -hmm. seems to be decent for women as far as that's concerned, business owners and, yeah. and making, you know, names for themselves, not needing to, 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 uh, kowtow to misogyny and such. Right. Um, there's, there's, there's no shortage of construction, so apparently yeah. they're planning on more people coming here. Crane to the sky. You know, but Crane we might need a couple sky. more roads, though, because <laughs> I'm just saying. Apparently, Smooth roads. So okay. We could fill the potholes, <laughs> but let's get some more roads, because I don't know where we're going to put them. But yeah. I'm going to tell you right now, it's traffic beat. We, oh. We're getting close to LA level, yeah. and that ain't no yeah. good. Yeah, that's, um, right. that's right. But look, if that's the worst thing about Atlanta, it doesn't even. It, who cares? I'll sit in traffic and listen to. A podcast or something, okay. but no, I love this place. Uh, uh, hopefully, I can, you know, like I said, get a couple more years of Dynasty and then even work out of here. Nowadays, you don't have to be where everything is. That's you true. can That's tape true. an audition and send it somewhere. So, if I, you know, put away my coffers from Dynasty and then can be able to start to really focus on family and nice. build a house. And, Okay. You know what I mean? Nice. It, yes. it, this would be a nice place to do it. Okay. So, awesome. Yeah. Okay. So it sounds like Atlanta may be part of your legacy at some point. It, it is definitely uh, part of my legacy. Yeah. So that's what's up. That's good. Now, you've also kind of dabbled into the music industry, a little Sosa, and, Soka. And, and a little Soka, yes. Yeah. Yes, I mean, yes. as Peppa 
sauce. Pepper sauce. That's I mean, right. where did that name come from? I'm like, I've, I've, I've mispronounced it, from, from, you know, a couple of times. Papa sauce, well, pepper, Papa saucy. I mean, it's pepper, pepper sauce. sauce. Pepper sauce is. I mean, we so, have hot sauce in the Caribbean too, but pepper right? sauce is, uh, is is something a little different. It's a little bit more flavorful, and not so much uh, vinegar based. Um, so it's got some some nice flavor to it, but it also yeah. has that heat. And right, I like right. to think that that's how my music is. So okay. they okay. call me Pepper Sauce. All right, got it. So now, how long you've been doing music? I mean, is it something? That's um, well, I sang as a child with my mother in the choir and church and whatnot. And, mm -hmm. um, but when you're from the Caribbean, especially when you're Trinidadian, uh, my mother's from Trinidad, my father's from Barbados. Mm -hmm. it, music is such a big part of uh, who we are, and um, the fact that it's such a it's a genre of music that is so specific to our region, mm -hmm. uh, the Greater and Lesser Antilles, uh, the Caribbean, uh, West Indies, whatever you want to call it. Right. Um, that uh, you know, I've kind of been doing it my whole life. Okay. And since I have this platform with Dynasty, and I have the reach of, of any number of other folks, uh, mm -hmm. and had some spare time and some fu some friends in the music industry that wanted to get together and do some stuff, I use some of my. Uh, Musical talents that I picked up in high school, and um, okay. Okay. then I taught myself a couple other things in programming and how to play a few instruments. And apparently, I know how to write music because yeah. I write all the stuff. Nice. Um, with a little bit, little collaborations here and there, but um, yeah, I mean, it's been I guess three years now, okay. and okay. I do it because I love it, and I get to showcase my culture and another side of myself. And Soka is the happiest music on earth. There's no sad Soka songs. You can't yeah. find one, not ever. So we learn how to make the best out of a bad situation, like most brown people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, would you would you headline like your your own? Uh, do you still do the the massive? Oh, Hollywood uh, massive. Yeah, Hollywood yeah. Well, massive. I, would, I would. You know what? I don't know <laughs> that I would headline my own carnival. Okay. I, I haven't done uh, Hollywood massive since I moved to Atlanta. Right. I did it the first year because I was I just got here, but mm -hmm. it's, it's a, a very large undertaking and too yeah. too much to. Um, delegate that responsibility to other folks while I'm not there at all. We shoot 22 episodes of Dynasty, that's nine months out of the year. I have right. very little time for um, anything else during the season. Mm -hmm. So, and there's a lot of prep that goes on the carnival or carnival as we call it. Yes. So I don't know that I would headline my own, but um, I will definitely jump on somebody else's truck okay. and perform a song or two. And I was down in Miami Carnival this year. Yeah, and okay. I performed on their, on their main stage before some of the the bigger acts came out that uh, everyone knows and loves and surprised a couple of folks and had a good time. Nice, nice. Now, would you want to, do you have someone in mind that you would love to collaborate with? I mean, like, who would do the remix on Ooh, Stomping Ground? let's see. You know? Who would do the remix on <laughs> Stomping Ground? Oh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Is Patrick still around? I mean, uh, uh, you know what? I think, Patrick, <laughs> I think Patrick's done. I think she's done. She's done? I don't okay. think she makes, the, makes music anymore like, like that. Okay. Uh, I, I could be mistaken. Patrick, if I'm mistaken, my bad. I don't yeah. Know. Um, I, I don't know. I think maybe... Jeez, who who would? Oh, man, you know if if Miss Fenty is is bored, and uh, Robin, if you want to help your brother out, let me know. Uh, Miss, uh, Miss Miss Rihanna, I'm sure okay. you got a lot of things to do. Yeah, but yeah. yeah hey. <laughs> being from Barbados myself, it'd be a good thing. Oh, that would be, be hot. That would be, be fantastic. Yes, yeah, um, we're gonna put that out there. We're just gonna put, we're gonna it, put out. it out there. That's what we need. <laughs> Manifest. Talk about manifesting, right? <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna make a vision board behind me. This is my living room, by the way. I That's know right. It looks Beautiful. Expansive. Beautiful. Um, Very. <laughs> so. That's awesome. That's awesome. Okay. All right. Well, is there. What would you say is like your top three artists of all time like somebody top three like, artists yeah. of all time yeah. yeah all genre across all genres. yeah all genres i mean just Woo. top three artists of all time uh yeah yeah that's a tough one that's a can i can i answer this question if we were if this was 2000 and like six Absolutely. before people destroyed their legacies <laughs> Before you know, we gotta go for it right yeah, now. Yeah, just, I'm gonna go so, with the current version. Of okay. Who, the, oh man, top three artists. Yikes. Uh, living I mean, or dead. Living or dead. Okay. Just, so I would go with Tupac. Okay. Um. Whitney Houston. Nice. And. I mean, you know, 
I've got to go with Michael Jackson. It's just right. it's just the way things are. I'm yeah. just gonna you know. Yeah. It's I mean, uh, artists, not people. Right. So, that's fair. That's <laughs> so, it. Music. Yeah. So the music's so going with just the music. Then I gotta go there. He's on the list. He should have yeah. been number one. Yeah. But yeah. Music and then we gotta throw Prince in there to back it up. Yeah, that's all right. I mean, it's all it's my honorable yeah. mention. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, all of those that you mentioned have been just amazing and yeah. made a you know, significant imprint on the music industry. All right, well, this has been a great uh, conversation, our dialogue. Indeed, it's indeed. Dialogue. Dr- drink, drinks that. and dialogue. Drinks and dialogue, drinks absolutely. And dialogue. <laughs> it's a special <laughs> Rob Riley episode. Absolutely. It's quite <laughs> Dynasty S. Yes, you know exactly. What I'm saying? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. mm. Drinks and dialogue, sir. Mm. Indubitably. <laughs> Very good. Well, I do appreciate you, you know, taking time out to, to speak with us. Yeah, uh, as, as do I. Thank you. Know, you. Welcome to Atlanta. It's been a while since we've been trying to connect. Yes, yes. Years. Uh, but, but it only gets better. We only both, it's better. We're both on the rise. That's so right. That's all that matters. That's what's up. That's what's up. Uh, so, you know, how, tell the people how they can follow you. How do they get connected? I know you um, it's at Rob Riley NYC. If there's not a blue check, then it ain't me. Um, mm-hmm. Instagram, <laughs> Twitter is pretty much all there is. Yeah. Uh, Facebook, I think it's Robert Christopher Riley. And, um, yeah, other than that, watch Dynasty on, on the CW. And when the season's up in May, hop on over to Netflix and catch it there. And if you haven't seen it, first two seasons are on Netflix right now. Watch out for Naked Singularity in 2020 and more music by Pepper Sauce. Rob Pepper Sauce Riley across all the music platforms. That's it.